Hello and welcome back to Virtual Bandcamp. This is episode five, Playing for Everyone. I'm Sergeant First Class Selena Matum. And I'm Sergeant First Class Michaela Shelton. Today, we're going to explore what it really means to play for someone else. So far, we've talked about playing in your section, playing with other instruments, and even playing for a soloist. It's important to remember that we aren't just playing our instruments for ourselves or our group, but we really are playing for everyone. As musicians, we get to do something truly special. We get to connect to other people through music. But how do we make sure that each performance is fun and engaging for the audience? Today, we'll talk about everything that goes into a great performance. Here is the U.S. Army Field Band performing American Overture by Joseph Wilcox Jenkins, originally written for the U.S. Army Field Band. Enjoy this great performance and see if you can pinpoint what really made it sparkle.
Wow, what an exciting piece of music. American Overture is actually one of my favorites. The performance you just saw looked pretty effortless and fun, but there are a lot of important things that go into making a performance sparkle. Let's talk about stage presence. When you perform in a large group, it's easy to think that you can hide. I sit in the back row of our band, so I totally get it. The truth is, someone in the audience will always be watching you. You have to be aware of how you look from the moment you step out into the performance space. Now this might be a little exaggerated, but watch a clip of our quintet demonstrating what not to do when it comes to stage presence. Well, that was not great. They sounded really nice, but was it engaging for you to watch as an audience member? Not for me either. Let's look at some things they can do differently to have a stronger stage presence. First, you want to make sure from the moment you're on stage that you're smiling and looking positive. Even though you might not have started the show yet, the audience is already evaluating what you're doing as part of the performance. You don't have to cheese it up, but you should look like you're excited to be there. Make sure that you are always aware of the body language you're using, even if you think that no one is watching you. Notice how everyone in the background is smiling too. Second, make eye contact with the audience. When you walk out on stage or when people are clapping for you, always acknowledge your audience by giving them a friendly smile or maybe even a little nod. Third, and perhaps the most important, Enjoy yourself. You've been practicing for weeks or even months for this concert, and now you get to sit back and enjoy all of your hard work. If you're having a fun time making the music, the audience will probably be having just as much fun experiencing it. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if doing all those things makes any difference for our quintet's stage presence. Well, I don't know about you, but I thought that was so much better. Stage presence can truly make or break a performance. Now that we have an idea of what it takes to look good on stage, let's talk about how to sound good. One of the most challenging parts of playing in a large ensemble is creating one cohesive sound. It might sound crazy, but even though there are 50 people on stage, you still need to sound like one instrument, a band. So how do we make that happen? Well, to start, Keep an eye on the conductor. Even if you think you know your part, it's important to follow the conductor so everyone in the band is on the same page. Pro tip, keep your music stand high enough so that you can just barely see the conductor out of the corner of your eye at all times, even when you're reading your music. Make sure you watch the conductor carefully during the meter and tempo changes and at the beginnings and ends of pieces. Unlike playing in a chamber ensemble, you're lucky enough to have a conductor showing you the tempo and the starts and stops. Watching the conductor keeps us on the same page for tempo, meter changes, and beginnings and ends of pieces. But maybe the most important thing that makes a band sound like one is just listening to each other. We talked a lot about this idea in some of our other episodes too. We demonstrated listening and blending in your section, in a chamber ensemble, and while following a soloist. All of those skills we talked about apply to playing in a band as well. It's just on a much larger scale. Say you're sitting in the horn section. Ah, oh, look, there's Sergeant Maidum. Pretend you're a horn player just like Sergeant Maidum for a moment. Like we talked about before, you should be able to blend into your section and hear everything that's going on. Can you also hear the main melody that the flutes and clarinets have? What about the rhythm that the snare drum is laying down in the back? Are you in tune with the trombones who have the same chord as your section? Yes, it might sound crazy, 
but you should be able to hear all of those things going on at once. It does take a lot of practice, but honing this skill is really what separates the good bands from the amazing ones. Yeah, it takes a ton of practice, but that really is what we have to do back there in the horn section. As they say, practice makes progress, so start working on listening across your band now. Well, we could go on all day about how to play in an ensemble, but I think we've covered some of the most important factors that go into making an amazing performance. We've talked about so many things that you can do to become an even better musician. When it's all said and done, it's important to realize that we are so lucky to be able to do what we do. They call music the universal language. It's something that everyone can connect with. You don't need words, there's nothing to explain, it just connects. Music has the power to heal, to bring people together, and to express the deepest emotions. As musicians, just like you, we all have a duty not to just play for ourselves, but to really play for everyone. Here at the U.S. Army Field Band, we are so lucky to do this every day. We connect with Americans all across the country, bringing music into different communities, assisted living facilities, and schools. It is such an honor to be able to serve our country in this way as soldier musicians. We are playing for everyone. Well, those are some of the ways that we share the joy of music, but how about you? How do you share music in your community? Do you play for your family? On your front porch for the neighbors? Have you ever visited a local nursing home to perform for the people who live and work there? There are so many ways to spread happiness and connect with the people around you through music. Even after high school and college, there are countless opportunities to stay engaged and keep playing for everyone. Well, that about wraps up this final episode of Virtual Band Camp. We hope you've all enjoyed the tips and tricks from the U.S. Army Field Band. Now, we have one more musical selection for you. During the performance, you might notice some of our special guest student musicians. Keep an eye out for our tour schedule later on. This could be you. Please enjoy this performance of Carmen Dragon's America the Beautiful, performed by the U.S. Army Field Band.
For more information, including our full live stream schedule, check out our website, armyfieldband.com.